Hello, my name is Eli Khan. I'm the former director of cybersecurity policy at the White House under the Obama administration and former DHS official under the Bush administration. In both of these roles, I helped set national cybersecurity policy, strategy, and guidance for the nation. Specifically at the White House, I worked at the National Security Council under the cybersecurity coordinator and the national security advisor. In this role, I worked closely with senior federal officials from across the federal government, including representatives from the CIA, Department of Justice, National Security Agency, Department of Defense, and Department of State. One of the first things we did at the White House was a 60-day review of the nation's cybersecurity policies and strategies. One of the more interesting findings of that review, which can be read at the White House website, is that the CIA has identified numerous cases overseas where cyber attacks have knocked off large populations of people off their national energy grids. While the U.S. government has not publicly disclosed of any attacks that have happened against the U.S. energy grid, the former director of national intelligence has identified that our energy grid is just as vulnerable as energy grids around the world. One thing that we looked very closely at while we were at the White House were the cybersecurity capabilities that other countries were building to prepare for the next war. It's inevitable that the next major war or even terrorist attack could involve cyber attacks. And we've actually seen this already occur in a number of places, whether it be uh, in Georgia or Estonia, where cyber attacks have been a key element of the new type of 21st century warfare. The energy grid is no doubt one of our most critical infrastructures within the United States. We must look at how the smart grid introduces new vulnerabilities to this infrastructure and take the appropriate means to protect it. This means that we must look at uh, cybersecurity measures to best protect advanced metering infrastructure or other smart grid devices that could potentially provide terrorists or organized criminals entryways to attack our national infrastructure. While at the White House, we took protection of the smart grid very seriously. We looked at various different new policies and strategies to ensure that the deployment of smart grid infrastructure included cybersecurity as a top priority. For example, we worked closely with the Department of Energy to ensure that new grant guidance required that smart grid vendors include cybersecurity proposals in their new technology. We also work closely with the Department of Energy to identify the need for new standards and regulations for smart grid providers and vendors. In order for the smart grid to be fully adopted successfully across the nation, we are dependent on innovations of smart grid vendors and technology providers to ensure smart grid solutions are safe and secure. One of the reasons I'm so excited to join the Board of Advisors at Infrac Systems is because I now have a first-hand view of the technology that can be used to protect the smart grid. Is because I believe they have a technological solution that sets them apart from other smart grid vendors. One of my roles with Infrac Systems will be to now help them identify the risks that Infrac Systems technologies should address with the smart grid, but also to help them evaluate new technologies and solutions that can help secure the smart grid. I'll also be introducing them to various government officials and agencies that play key roles in the protection of the smart grid. I've been truly impressed by both their technology and their management. When I left the White House, I had a variety of opportunities presented to me. However, I chose to join the board at Infrac Systems because I truly believe that Infrac Systems can have a lasting and significant impact on the security of our nation. Thank you. Thank you.